Okay. What do you mean you can't discard? If you die, they don't go continue. You are, is there, is there, that, that those kind of mindset that they put down for trouble. Who can't you discard? People people abandon their parents. No human being may use their parents to do ritual. If they never discard them, it's your mind. You can't discard. What can't you discard? You carry load will pass you. Anybody that is not useful to your life, put them in the outer court. That's why we have family and extended family extension. It's called extended family. You have nuclear family. You have personal nuclear extended. So why will you be extending what is not enough? Now, person, person, whether they carry, you know, they carry person now. All this mindset, now they put out of trouble. People, you can't discard. If you die, then they will continue. Now, just fool yourself. Who, who can't you discard? All of you go to have now, now go pull up together. Mm. Ah, for you to be free, to set other people free, you must set yourself free first. first Imagine all of us, this idea with a drown, you the, you the whole papa, whole mama. All of them go die. You go first escape, come out. Come out. Then you go begin to pull them out one by one. If they are escaping, create enmity between you and them. You just Poverty never create enmity. Who told you they love you now? It's just your mindset, my brother. Which enemies are you God? Jesus, the old Jesus, die for the old world, shed blood. They hate him. They hate him. Let me say now, uh, they're born again, they begin to insult me. No, no, no. Why? The person where people say there is no God. God created you. You turn and look the God say there is no God. Person, where, is that not madness? But they will say that I'm mad now. Look, I can tell you for free. Many of the problem in this world is in our mind. We are the one creating problem where there's no problem. The same people you are trying to help, they are saying they will hate you, they will hate you. When you use all your money to help them and you end up poor, they will tell you, ah, what's happened? Why did you become poor? They will blame you for being poor. So you made other one, you are just helping all. You didn't keep anything for yourself. They will blame you. So you are very stupid and foolish to be thinking that somebody will hate you for being yourself. No! And when you, you do that, you make it out, you make it, they will start coming back to you. They will come back. They will come back. So what you need to do is to set yourself free. And when you set yourself free, you now start helping other people to become free. But helping is not handout, oh, because that's another part of the problem. You don't, because this, hey, I'm not a breadwinner, I don't blow, take, no, no. Helping them to be free is now calling them to say, guys, this is the information I discovered that has helped me. Take this book, go for this course, go for this seminar, learn so that you can know. Because if they are not who they are supposed to be, any help you give them mm. is going to bite you in the back. Why? The more you learn, the more you earn. Your earning capacity is determined by your learning capacity. If you know better, you will do better. So everybody has a level of money they can handle mm. based on their internal capacity. If you give anybody any money that is beyond their learning capacity, they will waste the money and reduce it to their level. So if somebody is a 500000 dollars person, that's his level. You should give him $5 million. He go do betting. He go give girlfriend money. He go buy i iphone iwix you go spend the money finish when you remain 500 now your brain go begin work ah you remain 500 ah what do i do now you see that 4.5 is beyond this level you go don't waste that first until you get to the 500 level that's why his brain will start working that's what happened if that person is a 10 million dollar person if you give him 5 million in less than one year you will have 10 million that 5 million will begin to grow so you don't give people money you give people knowledge in this part of the world we have messed up empowerment empowerment you see, politicians say they are empowering people. They are giving them money, giving them okada, giving them... Is that empowerment? That's nonsense. You are giving people money, you call it empowerment. No, the real empowerment is knowledge. Giving them the knowledge of who they are, what they have, what they can do, so that with or without you, they can do it. But the problem is that some people will tell you they can be empowered with that knowledge, but they don't have anything finished to do. Empowerment is not complete without equipping. So when you empower... We have just finished entrepreneurship academy here. Yeah? On my table now, there is a file there of people who are going to give money. We have trained them. Just yes, now, okay. I will not say we have five million. We are going to share fifty thousand minimum, two fifty maximum. We give them the conditions and everything. Now I have screened them. Now I saw the list. So everybody that is asking for anything above two fifty, I've disqualified them because they are not serious. We told you the maximum you will get is two fifty. Yet somebody is writing three million. I need two point five. I say these are the problem of Nigeria. So I don't disqualify all of them now. When you leave now, that's the next meeting I'm doing now. Anybody that asks for more than two fifty, I've disqualified them yeah. because I told you the maximum anybody can get is two fifty. Yet you still say. You go still ask for more. That means you are a greedy person. That's why they sign money where they won't give you free. Nobody say you nobody you get them or you still say you can just ask for anything. All of them are disqualified. So those people that are 250 and below, we're going to now call them today now, fix appointment. So that's the way this thing works. If you understand true empowerment, you give people information and then you give them equipping to carry it out. So when you say your family member, you call them. Ah, my brother, God has helped me. I would like you to read this book, do a summary, chapter mm. by chapter, mm. submit it to me. Mm. Then, um, there's this course, I've registered for you to go. Mm. Go there, gather then, let me know what you want to do. Mm. Give me a proposal, what would you like to do in your life? Mm. Let me know. Then all of them will go, go, go. All this process may take three to six months. Mm. Some people say, what does that? Because you don't get money now. Nah. You go, 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 I don't go for school. Yes. You already know they are not qualified for your money. Cast not your peers before swine. Mm. 
Mm. Hey, whether it's your father, mother, brother, sister, what is biology? Forget that nonsense. Mm. Jesus Christ said, Who is my brother? Who is my mother? Mm. Nobody. Nobody. It is those that obey me Nobody. and do my word. Those are my father. That's my mother. That's my brother. Let's stop all this nonsense that is killing us. <laughs> By the time you do that, some people will get angry. Well, I'm even older than him. Mm. It's controlling. That means they are not qualified for your money. How do you keep money to people like that? Then those that go through the process, when they now come, you now tell them, Look, this money, how much do you think you will need? I need two million. I mean, okay, now you say you need two million. You need, okay, I'm going to give you five million. Since you say you need two million, two million is too much. I'm going to give you five million. That five million, I will give you over the next five years. So take one million. Let's go and test. One year, give me a report every three months. In one year, let's see how far it goes. Because he knows, say, mm. one, one million day for the next yeah, five years. Five. That one million will go finish. Go multiply. It will multiply. But when you give him five million, pop, he will finish.